Good evening. You're with the Urban Debate here with us tonight on the weekend. I'm Seher Zama. And today we're keeping the focus uh, once again on COVID-19. But this time, it's not just on the two states that we've been talking about in the past few weeks, which is Kerala and Maharashtra, which continue to hold the chunk of about 75% of all the cases reported across the country. The larger concern is that the Union Health Ministry has now pointed out other states as well which are seeing a rise. These are states of Punjab, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. The Union Ministry there in giving out those figures here also saying that while this is right now not of huge concern but this spike is enough to notice that one needs to increase vigil in these states as well to prevent any further rise in cases in those states. Adherence to COVID appropriate behavior is largely being seen as the main reason here. We are still in only our first phase of our vaccination drive and this is not a rise that we should be seeing at this point of time. Several concerns being raised here on how to continue with this battle against COVID. But there is unfortunately some blame game that is being seen here as well. And this is the NCP in Maharashtra, which has chosen to blame the state opposition there, which is the BJP, for having pushed the state government continuously to open up all spaces all across the state here, which has led to the spike in Maharashtra. We're going to be discussing this further with our guests here on what more that needs to be done. But before that, let's take a listen in to what uh, the state minister and the NCP leader, Nawab Malik, has just stated on this. Yesterday in Jamnir, a BJP leader, Mahajan, has taken a meeting where 10,000 people were there. If you are not abide with the guideline given by the state of Maharashtra, then it is a problematic. The Maharashtra Vikas Agadi Thakre government is totally failed in protecting the life and the infection to the people of Maharashtra. Let's uh, throw this open to our panelists here with us tonight. Uh, this weekend we have uh, Devyanike, spokesperson of the BJP here with us. We have Clyde Krashto, spokesperson of the NCP. And we also have Dr. Rahul Pandit, who is a member of uh, the COVID task force uh, in Maharashtra. Uh, before I come into uh, the doctor here to get in a larger view on what's really causing this spike. Uh, first to you, Clyde Krasto, on, on, on why do you think your party member, your leader, Mr. Nawab Malik, has chosen to put this down as a political blame game and accusing the BJP for having done this in Maharashtra? Uh, good evening, sir, and uh, thank you for you know having me on your show. And I just hope you give me a little time to explain this whole thing to you. Like I've been on on your debates throughout this whole pandemic, and from day one, not just me, every every spokesperson or leader of my party that has come on your shows or any other debate for that matter has said one thing very categorically. We've said that this is not the time to politicize this whole situation. And let me tell you, till about yesterday, till about this morning. The BJP mm -hmm. kept politicizing this whole issue throughout. And you, you've seen it on your show and everywhere. Now, Mr. Nawab Malik, while the blame game was going on from the BJP side, like, you know, Ashish Shailar also was blaming right now, he just said, if that's the fact, then while we were in lockdown, while we were being precautious, while we were taking all the measures that was required to, you know, control this pandemic, the BJP was out on the street. You have images on your channel. I have done mm -hmm. debates on that where they were on the road without mask asking to open the lockdown, open up places, open up things, open up, th uh, you know, whatever uh, institutions. Why don't you do that? They were out on the street. Now, the fact of the matter is when we were being careful, we were trying to make sure that, like, you know, we know we need to jump the gun and open up things. Let's go carefully. They were out there on the street without mask, no social distancing, and they were blaming the government, open up the places. Now, just when there was a question posed and we were talking and discussing what Mr. Nawab Malik right. said, if that's the case, if that's the case, just hear me out. If that's the case, then BJP is to be blamed for pushing us and pushing everybody to open the lockdown. And look at what has happened. Because we've opened up the uh, trains for general public, because we've uh, opened up a lot of institutions, you know, uh, schools, colleges in certain places, restaurants, the cases are on the rise. And this is what we feared. This is what the experts feared. And the government, along with the experts, no, but, were but, taking but your government wetted the situation before taking this decision. Decision. There, there were multiple review meetings that happened with yes, the BMC absolutely. and municipalities absolutely. of other districts uh, with, uh, with the chief minister here as well. It's not as if the state government was helpless no. in the hands of the state opposition. Achha, achha. There. 
Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that. But here, what is the point? The point is who's blaming whom? So the question is, if you're blaming this, then there are a lot of other blames that can be put on the BJP because for pushing this, you should have kept quiet. You should have come together. You see, we have been joining hands. The state and the center have been working together. There are certain but leaders. Even, even the if BJP, they kept quiet or egged on the state government, eventually uh -huh. the state government did take its decision of opening up I, things here. Uh, let let, let me get that finish, response please, here from Devyani Farande. She's I mean, here with us here as well. Devyani, please respond. No, Devyani, please respond here. Yeah, 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 I'll come yes, back to you, allow, please. Allow, I'll, I'll come back to you. We've taken your opening statement here on this. Allow me to speak. Devyani, this is, this is uh, something that we are seeing in other states here as well because I, uh, we'll be looking at widening this further because specifically the health ministry has mentioned other states. Uh, other states, either it, uh, they be uh, BJP rule state governments or the Congress rule state governments here, but this is what the central government union health ministry has said here, that these are rise in cases. Now we're just seeing a beginning of those rise in cases in three other states other than Maharashtra and Kerala. So should... Should the central government here also look at measures of not having entirely opened up in this manner? We're still in the middle of our first phase of the vaccination drive. There's still a lot more time okay. till everyone gets vaccinated. May I start now? First of all, I see no reason as to why the NCP corporator should start blaming the government, BJ, central government for this. It is the government of Maha Agadi, which has been, which has been uh, participated by the NCP as well as the Congress and Shiv Sena. Today, we have about 7,000 uh, active COVID cases in the state of Maharashtra. Okay, most of it is in Mumbai. Now, tell me one thing. When there were several review meetings which had taken place in the past with the Prime Minister's office and the individual CM's office, the central has categorically told the state government to take their own decision as to what they want to open and what they don't want to open. I don't understand at this point in time when there is a rise in the pandemic, why the, there is a blame game. Blame game and politics is going on on this. I really don't understand this. First of all, they have, uh, you know, the target of, they had a target of about one crore people to be vaccinated. They have vaccinated so far only nine lakh of people in the state of Mumbai. Sorry, state of Maharashtra and that too in Mumbai. Only nine lakhs. Mm -hmm. The government is not no, know, permitting sir, the private the BJP hospitals. The BJP spokesperson needs to go and do some no, no, homework. No, no. Let me complete. Let He's me complete, going to do sir. some Let homework. Complete, sir. No, no, I've done my homework. I'm just telling you one no, thing. You, do, you haven't. I'm telling you. No, you no, no, no. I've done the homework. I have done the homework. And I'm trying to tell you this. Why is government not permitting the private hospital to participate in the vaccination program? That's what I'm trying to say. This direct, you she has not, not done permitting. a homework. You are not permitting. This, this, you are controlling this has everything. to be permitted by the central government. Sir, she please ask her to do some homework. No, but this ask is this is a decision here for. I have done for, the homework. No, no, no. Done yes, the homework. this is a decision for the central it's government to take here. If we want more private players, we just had the director of AIMS tell us here I, I, that we're looking I, I, at I, I, more I, I, participation I, I, of private I, I, hospitals here. This is entirely on the central government to decide on opening up more vaccination centers in in partnership with private hospitals. That point, at least, you cannot example, blame example, the, the Maharashtra the government. Pandemic, Clyde, coming back to you, we still have Dr. Rahul Pandit to speak with here on this. Bro, bro. Dr. Pandit, in your, Devyani, we will have to listen to others here on this here, please, as well. Please tell her to go Dr. 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 Rahul Pandit, who is a member of the COVID task force in Maharashtra here. Dr. Pandit, in... In, in your view, why are we looking at this rise? I want to step away from this political blame game here, please, uh, and help us understand why this rise. I, is it entirely because of the absolute opening up where people think that things are now safe? We are stepping out. Of course, people also partly being irresponsible in not maintaining the COVID appropriate behavior. People are being fined on a daily basis by the BMC here. Uh, but... But, but the sense that one has that this is now in control, this is now in decline, why is that happening? Look, I think it's a very uh, appropriate question to ask. And if you if you sort of look at your show, you started off the show by saying that there are other states as well which are uh, seeing a small rise in the numbers. And there are multiple factors. We can't have one factor for it. Yes. Obviously, the opening up of the lockdown, uh, people have become a little bit more uh, free to move and they have been interacting with each other. And uh, the COVID-appropriate behavior has basically gone down. There is no question about that. So that's one, one reason. 
The second reason could be that uh, with the economy opening mm. up and the school colleges opening up, people are stepping out of their house. Uh, there was a, the, a, a category of people which were the elderly who were not stepping out of their house for several months. In the last month or so, I have had several patients who have been between 60 and 80 years of age, uh, which I'm seeing in the hospital. And those are the patients who were actually very, very confined to their house. They suddenly thought that things have opened up and things look like they're going down. Everybody thought that a corona is not there in the air anymore. So that's a bravado sort of a feeling which came across. Third thing is when a vaccination drive starts, there is automatically a sense of security which comes within people that, look, I think vaccine is around the corner. We are going to get vaccinated and maybe we will be saved from the uh, from the corona disease. That's another reason for, for this to happen. And, uh, you know, another uh, reason could be that the population density in the states, which we are looking at Maharashtra and Kerala both, um, Kerala is a very typically is a very different uh, state altogether. You have people uh, who have houses all across. There are no no city limits as such. You know, you have people across the highway, and you'll have small, small, small houses. So the density is very high. In Maharashtra, obviously, Mumbai, some parts of Mumbai have very, very high density. So when you have a high density population, you are going to see these rise. And the last but mm-hmm. not the least, whatever media reports which I have seen in the last two three days, uh, which needs to be authenticated by the NIV. Is this mutant strain, is it really a mutant strain? Is there a rise in the infection in some of the cities like Amravati, Akola, Yavatman because of any mutant right. strain? I don't have any substantial reports to talk about it. And I don't want to clear, clear, create any fear psychosis that there's a mutant strain which is roaming around. But these are the things which we need to look. We need to do more genomic sequencing to right. understand whether we are actually dealing with a different kind of a vaccine, a virus, beg your pardon. But, but, but Dr. Pandit, uh, what, what do you think should be a decision now taken by respective state governments here? Because the, the central government, of course, has said uh, uh, th- this is basis uh, what each state government is facing at, at, an, at an individual state level for the state governments to decide how much exactly to open up, how many restrictions that could be brought back here. Uh, what do you think should be the role of state governments today? And this is not just about what you've seen in Maharashtra, because there are other states now who've come up on that list here as well and would be learning from what Maharashtra does next. No one wants to be found in the same same soup, so to say, to be back to square one to what we've seen in the start of the pandemic here. Absolutely. I'm going to speak like a clinician, like a doctor only. No? So it, it's sort of applicable to everyone who looks at it. Uh, so the first thing is we need to go back to our basics, what yes. we were in the month of March, perhaps last year. What were the basics? The basics were that you identify the clusters where there are hotspots and perhaps create small containment zones so that we have a population which is contained there. The second is behind every positive person, do a testing of at least 18 to 20 people so that you are able to isolate them and quickly identify who are the positive amongst the amongst the contacts and treat them as well. So the 3T t- t- regime which we are doing, which is t- testing, tracing and uh, and treating has to be re-emphasized again. The, I can see that you've got the visuals of... Uh, of the mayor of Mumbai and other people who are actually promoting masking, I think that message has to go down very, very clearly to people that Corona is here and no way, even if the vaccine comes across or even if you get vaccinated, your mask has to be the major vaccine which we have to wear, which we have to don on. There is no escaping from that. Mask seems to be the best vaccine which is there. The fourth thing which we can do is Right now in Mumbai, at least, we are seeing that the cases are coming from high-rise societies. And what I would suggest is that we could actually create a small group of senior citizens within the colony or within the society who could be the COVID marshals, the the community marshals, because Mm -hmm. this needs to be a community awareness as well, who could be respected in the community and their word would be taken up as a a respected word or a final word. And if they can bring across some discipline within their society or community, that will help a lot. We need to have a multi-pronged approach. It can't be just government to do it because government has only so much capacity to do. Absolutely. Right, right. I mean, this is both basis what the state government can impose and what what people need to take up responsibly. Yes, Clyde, I know you've been wanting to respond here to this mm-hmm. here, but but there is a lot in the hands of the state government here. Uh, we we are aware of the measures that the Maharashtra state government is seeing uh, is taking. There there is a lockdown in three districts starting tonight, eight p.m. as we speak, as a weekend lockdown here, as a stricter precautionary measure here. So uh, are there are there more measures in the pipeline yes, yes. apart from blaming? Yes. 
leaving the BJP. Let's talk about no. those other measures in the pipeline here. See, Shahar, my humble request to you, two humble requests. One is, I really don't want to make this into a political slugfest because we are in the middle of you know, bad times right now. So let's not make this a political slugfest. One. Secondly, please let me finish. Now, there are a couple of things that you asked, and uh, Dr. Saab actually really said things which we are actually doing. First and foremost, if you look at the directors passed by the, uh, the BMC in Mumbai here right now, we are going to the micro level. Okay, so if five people in the building are, test, are testing positive, the whole building is being sealed. We are going to smaller containment zones where clusters are being formed. All these micro level managing is going on right now. You, this is the same city, this is the same state which had gone down to 2,000 cases and 300 cases. So there was good work being done and we have managed to bring it down drastically. But like all the doctors, last two days I've been listening to a lot of intelligent doctors who've been telling us that this, this is a new strain that has come in and you know even they are trying to work on it. The same way the government with the experts is trying to work on this and we are working on it. And you know the, the mayor was out on the streets, you know, uh, fines are being imposed, marshals have been doubled up, they're out on the streets. People are now, you know, being told like, listen, you know, we are not out of the woods yet. Let's not, you know, take it lightly. It's serious. So all these things are being done, you know, Yavatmal, Akola, Amra, lockdowns are being imposed there right. everywhere things are being taken seriously so I'll tell you something you know it, it we have to look at it very seriously. The government is looking at it seriously. It, there was just a reference, and that became like, oh, you're some, you know, we are blaming something. Else. But that's a reference to context, and you know, it, that cannot be blown out of proportion. Now is the time okay. to come together across all parties and fight this out. Are you saying that was made by Nawab Malik? But it was an entire yeah, statement yeah. that he it's made here, and just wanting to blame yeah. the BJP and no one else. Yeah, see, uh, but but, but me, uh, can I finish that? Uh, 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 Deglani, uh, what would you come. like to say on this here? Because. Uh, I, I am, Devyani. Please listen to my question because this is also about being a responsible opposition. If a government like Maharashtra, which has given us role models of bringing down the numbers to zero in places like Dharavi, let's not pressurize that state government Absolutely. in pushing them Absolutely. to open up places here when they feel it's clearly not ready. This is not the time. But you know the the BJP the BJP has never pushed the state government to open up things. It is they. <laughs> they were out on the streets without no, masks. No, no, no. Dharnas, but, but, were on the road. The BJP. It is they who have started opening the hotels and the clubs till about one o'clock in the night. Okay. All that okay, we said we I... allow people to visit the temples as well. That is all that we have said. We have never pushed the government Seher. to do anything against the interests of the people of the state. Yes, yes, there, there was a demand and there, there was something that the state government also worked on on how to bring that about. But but Devyani, uh, like in other states as well, this is just one state where the BJP is in the opposition. There are other states here where the BJP right. is ruling. Right. Uh, this includes uh, uh, states of Madhya Pradesh. Karnataka is taking its own precautionary measures because it's, it's, it's neighboring with the two of uh, the two states of Kerala and Maharashtra that hold the largest chunk. So they are now screening interstate incoming passengers coming in from Maharashtra and Kerala into Karnataka. Uh, the, the, the BJP governments in respective states are also doing their own job here. How about having the BJP as an opposition in the Maharashtra to be also be doing the similar job to, to, to add are, to that in exactly spreading out the word thing. here we that do not drop your vigil. To implement the COVID restrictions and COVID related issues. We are not working against the state government. Why does the Nawab Malik think that we are working against the state government? We are not. It is actually the cumulative responsibility of the people of the state as well as the government machinery and all of us together. Where is the politics into this? I don't understand. We are not doing any politics into this. All right, I'm going, to, I'm going to leave the final word here on Dr. Rahul Pandit because uh, this is, of course, uh, looking at it also in a very neutral manner and more importantly, to be looking at it across the board, not just for the two worrisome states of Maharashtra and Kerala. Uh, Dr. Pandit, there was an observation that was made and specially mentioned by the Union Health Ministry here. This is uh, in cases rising. In fact, we're going to be playing out those figures up on our screen here. As far as daily cases in Punjab, daily cases in Madhya Pradesh here, that have noticed uh, an, an upsurge. It's just not a sudden spike 
That's not the word that the ministry is used. They're calling this an upsurge here. What has been reported just yesterday, 385 in Punjab just yesterday and uh, in Madhya Pradesh as well, further gone up to 297. This is, of course, compared to what was re reported in the previous 24 hours of 18th of Feb. So, so there is that upsurge here. And how do you think, doctor, uh, this can be nipped in the bud? We, we've not heard from these state governments here. But this is something that the health ministry has pointed out that needs to be nipped in the bud. That should not be going the Maharashtra or Kerala way. Absolutely. I think there has, there has to be an increased uh, social awareness and public awareness about the cases rising. People need to realize that Corona is very much in the air. And I am again emphasizing the same thing, maybe repetitive, but mask, mask, mask seems to be the way to go forward. That's one. There is also a talk within the medical community, and that may be just a historic thing that with the winter being there, still, you know, mm -hmm. we're lingering around. Maybe the cases are basically being seen in the places uh, where uh, the winter has lingered around and what we are seeing in the Europe where the winter was really harsh for them in terms of COVID. Uh, we may have a little surge right. which is coming up right now. But it is okay. also coinciding with the time when all the lockdowns have been opened up. So it's very difficult to make a lot of sense out of it right now. But I think that we can nip right. it in the butt if we just go back to our basic corona appropriate behavior and have a all little right. bit so, of so, common sense. So essentially, doctor, the only sense that we can make of it right now is for, for people's responsibility to keep up with the COVID appropriate behavior. Let's let's not get reach, uh, reach that situation where we need to, where we would be fine for not wearing a mask, where we would be fine for having irresponsible home parties. There was a hot spot in Bengaluru because of a residential party that took place with 100 plus cases reported here. Uh, let's continue to be responsible. We've hit, a, we've hit a year of the pandemic. We've been living this life for one year. This is something that we should know at the back of our hands on how to be responsible amidst COVID because it's still there. We're in a very, very initial stage of our vaccination drive and we still need to be careful. We appreciate all the panelists who've spoken to us here tonight. Thank you for being with us here.